Jeremiah says this. I love Jeremiah. He says, uh, he says we're crackpots. <laughs> and that's exactly the truth. It's Christians, this is us. We're walking around, and we're, here's God's blessing, and it's just going everywhere, falling, and, you know, and eventually, what happened? I, I'm, I'm, I'm only half full again. I'm not full. This is why the New Testament says, be full of the Spirit. It's a continual. It doesn't mean full once. Like, you come to church and you get full. Now you're good. You live the rest of it. No, no, no. It's be, being continually filled. It's a continuous. You know why you have to be continually filled? Because you leak. Amen? You leak. You are not. Th this glass has more integrity than you. You leak. <laughs> I mean, we just walk around and it's just falling out. It's just there goes, there it goes. This is why, this is why the commitment to the church is so important. Because we all leak. And if I don't have you to minister to me, and I don't have if you don't have me to minister to you and to come together and pray and get together in Bible study and fellowship, I mean, we're doomed. We are doomed. We're just telling the Lord that I don't need your blessing. I'll do this on my own. No one will fill me up. And eventually I look like this. And you keep doing that for a couple months, maybe a year. It's gone. You're empty again. And that's why we have to come back to the word of God. And now, like I said, brothers, that's the first word for every Christian, for every person. We all need to hear this. But the last word that you need to hear is the word that Ezekiel messed up. All right? Ezekiel in chapter 37 God says, I want you to prophesy to the bones, prophesy to the dead. He says, I want you to prophesy that they will come all together as people, and I want you to prophesy that the Spirit of God will move upon them and give them life. What does he do? He prophesies, well, make them that they will live. Prophesy that they will live. And they do. They come together. And how often is that? Church, you need to hear that. This is a word for you, Christian. How often do you pray for a job? Or even, even in the church, our, our spiritual prayers are, grow the church. That is so temporal. That is so earthly. That's not, that's not spiritual. Understand, Ezekiel did the same thing. All right, God, make everybody stand up. They stand up, but there was no life. Friends. You can get all of the blessings. You can have a family. You can have a good job. You can even come to church and miss out on the spirit of God. And so God comes and says, no, 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 no. Prophesy about the spirit. Hear that, Christian. That's a good word for me. That was a good word for me this week, and I think it's a good word for you. So often you are praying and you are focused on things that are so earthly and temporal and you need to be prophesying. And you need to be speaking the things that are eternal to the Spirit of God filling you, filling your family. Don't pray that your kids are happy and healthy. Pray that they are filled with the Spirit of God. Do you hear me? See the difference? That's the difference. We need to hear that. And as Christians, we need to go into the world. And that, this is my third point, all right? I got three sermons packaged, and packaged into this. As Christians, we need to go into the world and recognize when you go into the world, you see nothing but death. And I know so often you're like Ezekiel, and you're like, I don't want to prophesy to this. I don't want to speak the words of God to these people. Guess what? They don't, they're dead. They don't want to hear it. Do you feel like that at work? You don't have to raise your hand. You ever feel like that at school? God, you really want me to teach, tell people about tell people about you here? Do you realize how much these people don't like you? <laughs> you ever feel like that? Prophesy to the bones. Prophesy. Speak to them. Proclaim the gospel to them. To a world that is lost and dying. Declare the word of the Lord. That's a good word right there, too. God has good news for every single person in this whole world. He can fill you. He can take you from death to life. And he can take this world and bring it from death to life. But you have to take the word seriously.
let's pray. Let's close this morning asking God to give us fullness and healing in our own life and in our ministry, in our proclaimed word that we take from the place that we're now sitting in. Father.